What's up guys, Melvin from HairTransplantNetwork.com. Exciting news and exciting update on vertiporfin, the potential hair loss cure. First, a quick background on vertiporfin. Initially, it was used for macular degeneration, a condition of the eyes. Researchers at Stanford started testing this on wound regeneration and wound healing. What they found was that when a wound was injected with vertiporfin, immediately after the wound was created, not only did the hair follicles grow back, but all of the dermal appendages grew back as well. So it was like the wound never happened. Now, how does this apply to hair transplant surgery? The basic thought or theory behind it is that when a hair graft is extracted, it's immediately injected with vertiporfin so that, so that the fibroblast pathways are not signaled and then that hair follicle then regenerates like nothing ever happened. Now to date there haven't been many real life studies. All of the real life studies I've published on this channel, one primarily from Dr. Barguthi, he's done two, and now this one with Dr. Ratchathorn of Thailand. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware who Dr. Ratchathorn is, she's one of the leaders of the American Board of Hair Restoration Surgery and a highly, highly skilled and talented surgeon. So I'm gonna get into a real life case study review and show you guys all of the photos so that at the end of this video, hopefully you guys can make up your mind on whether or not vertiporfin is regenerating hair. Let's get into it. So here you see a patient who saw preliminary results from Dr. Barguthi and he decided to dive balls deep and do the same thing. He ordered 200 milligrams of vertiporfin powder and Dr. Ratchathorn agreed to use it at one milligram per square centimeter. So essentially he had 4,153 grafts over a 10 hour period and he supplied her with 200 milligrams of vertiporfin powder and she went ahead and injected the extractions. Now I'm going to show you guys what he looked like before the hair transplant. This was after a failed hair transplant in Mexico in Cancun and here you can see the grafts that were extracted. Now keep in mind he did have some over harvesting already due to the poor surgery he previously had. That's what his uh, you know graft placement looked like after. And let's examine how it looks month to month. Now take a look at this photograph 15 days post-op. I want to go ahead and show you this is what the donor looked like 15 days after. You can see uh, you know definite signs of harvesting and you can see where the hair hasn't been harvested. So this is how we're gonna compare moving forward. Now these photos were taken at two months. I want you to pay attention to something. Where the extraction is, where it looks red still. Look at that tiny little hair there. I'm gonna go ahead and close up and look at the tiny little hair that's right here adjacent to where the extraction is. See how small it is? This is this is almost reminiscent of Dr. Barguthi and his first trial where the tiny hair was visible about two months after the, the vortiporfin was extracted and it started growing thicker and thicker throughout. Now this is at six months. I want you to show. He says obviously not full 100% re regeneration though still early days. And look at the close up that he provides here of his uh, donor. And I want to show you something right here. You see a tiny hair that's getting a lot thicker, but I want to show you this right here. Right in this area, adjacent to where the graft was taken, you see a long velous hair that's growing out of his donor, which is exactly where it was at two months, except it was tiny and minuscule. Now look at his hair at a number two guard. Now, obviously there still is some visible harvesting differences, but the hair looks a lot thicker and fuller than it did at two months. Okay, now for the last update, seven month update, you know, he says, I think my donor looks pretty dang great for the amount of grafts I had taken out. Obviously the hair transplant is successful. It's looking really, really good. He looks a lot better. Now look at the side profile where he had a huge patch of hair missing after the hair transplant around two months. And now at seven months, you see a lot of the hair looks like it's grown back. Obviously not all of it. There, there is a still a, some small patches, but it looks significantly denser than it did at two months. Now let's take a look at the um, tiny, you know, the, the microscopic photos here. And I want to show you something here. Now look at this photo here with the two hairs. That 
I'll, I'll go ahead and go to the previous months, but you can see here that that other hair was not growing out prior. So that two hair was a one hair before, which that leads me to believe that there's been some hair regeneration. Now, obviously, like I said, not 100%, but it looks like some regeneration. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor and hit the like. If you guys want to share your thoughts, do you think Vertiporfin is hype? Is it the real deal? Let me know in the comments section. And if you think anyone would benefit from this video, feel free to share it with them. All right, until next time.